Today's topic is reception of Holy Communion. As we do that, let's acknowledge that Jesus is truly present in this tabernacle. Everywhere you see a golden tabernacle like this one with a red candle next to it, our God is here. So let's just take a moment of silence to recognize and love him. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence, the way you minister to us, even while we minister to you. Increase our faith and confidence in you. And we love you too. Amen. So, this is one of the most amazing things that happens at Mass. And funny enough, receiving Holy Communion is not uh, an obligation that everyone has on Sundays. You have an obligation to go to Mass on Sundays. Because in the Mass, you are offering a sacrifice of praise to God for His glory and for your sanctification. The liturgical action is an offering of ourselves in generosity to Him. And reception of Holy Communion is for those of us, uh, we're blessed, we we're, we're, have the generosity of the Church that allows us to receive the Eucharist as well as offering it to God the Father for His glory. Um, and in that great gift, uh, the Catholics have an obligation to receive at least once a year during Easter. Uh, that great gift uh, is when we're disposed. Again, Jesus pours himself out in offering of love to us like a bridegroom who says, I give you everything I am unconditionally. Uh, but to have union, we have to be able to say, and Jesus, I offer myself to you unconditionally. And that brings about a union of hearts, that then when we receive Holy Communion with that disposition, well, it's the kind of love and union that helps you have the courage to face anything life throws at you. So now, today, I want to just talk a little bit about the practicalities. In, uh, in the Mass, when we come up down the aisle to receive Holy Communion, <clears throat> it's a beautiful sign of us processing towards heaven. Heaven has now touched earth because our God is truly made present on the altar during the Mass. And we've offered ourselves as He's offered Himself. Uh, so we come in procession as we walk, journey towards heaven, uh, a sign of what our whole lives are about. And as we arrive to this here medallion, or to the altar, or to the side aisle, wherever you are, to receive Holy Communion, uh, there are four bodily postures that the Church encourages us to use and there are options um, one option is to receive the eucharist with the consecrated host which uh, that what looks like a tiny little wafer of bread you can receive it on the hand there's a lot of church fathers in the ancient church that describe uh instructions and i'm talking like second century third century sixth century some of these church fathers like tertullian and others saint gregory they talk about making a throne with your hands. And in that throne, you, you prepare a, a place for Jesus to come to you. And then you receive him reverently with great love and attention. We don't ever just, like it's not, you're not receiving candy, you're receiving your Lord. You create a throne for him, and you receive him carefully and reverently. Uh, the church also allows us to receive on the tongue. And uh, it's funny, it's, and I say the tongue, because sometimes people just go, <laughs> and it's like a coin slot. Like, I'm get it in there. <laughs> and then that doesn't feel very reverent. And sometimes it's, it's kind of awkward. We don't know what to do with our mouths uh, when we're receiving on the tongue. But so sometimes just opening your mouth, making a nice, simple platform, a landing pad for Jesus. Um, you know, and tongues are gross, but so are hands. <laughs> so if the Lord wants to enter into our messiness, and, and bring about this union that he longs to have with us if we're, if we're, re if we're ready and willing. Uh, then uh, there's also the posture um, of the fact that we actually stand or we can kneel. Uh, kneeling is kind of a practical thing for some people because it's a little bit easier to receive on the tongue if you're down here instead of if you're a giant and I'm trying to give you cold communion in the mouth. <laughs> Uh, so, but kneeling is this wonderful rever uh, reverent gesture. It's a, it's a sign of reverence to say, oh my gosh, like God is so amazing. He knocks me to my knees. There's something so beautiful and amazing. Uh, on the other hand, uh, another of uh, the fourth 
bodily gesture for Holy Communion is standing, uh, to receive communion standing, which is another sign of respect and reverence. Think about when the President of the United States enters the room, all stand. Or when you're in a courtroom and the judge enters the room, who's a representative of the state, all rise. When we come before the presence of the king, standing is, is a sign of reverence, of acknowledging this is, this is the one of great importance. And out of respect, we stand with dignity. We're also, the funny, beautiful thing about the mystery of the Eucharist is that we are receiving the body of Christ as the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ, the mystical body of Christ, as, as members of his church. So, um, and because of that, because of the sacrament of baptism, we have really become part of his body. And so we have this beautiful dignity to receive him. Uh, and that in itself is this glorious mystery um, that St. Augustine says, God is closer to you than you are to yourself. Somebody once said to me, and I think this is so true, if you could see yourself the way God sees you, it would change everything. If you could see the dignity you have. Um, and <laughs> that's why we don't die when we receive the Holy Eucharist. We probably would die if we could have fully understand it, not out of fear, but out of joy. Um, so friends, that's a little bit about Holy Communion and the glory that it is. What a gift we have in the church. This is uh, one of the one of the most life-changing things we've got. May the Lord be with you always, today and forever. And I hope that this video series was a blessing to you and your family, especially as we journey towards Christmas, wherever you're at in life. Maybe you're watching this 10,000 years later. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.